How's it going everyone? My name is BQ. Welcome to the showers that run alongside our car. Now, I remember downloading this game off of Tachio, but that was a while ago, so I don't really remember what exactly the context of this game was. I think it's more of a narrative game, but uh, with that, let's begin and see what happens. Whose eyes will you set the road through? Uh, interesting. Sorry, you gave me an interesting option. Why is the cr screen cracked? It's kind of scary. Uh, let's go through the female first. Gun it. Oh, that was pretty jumping right into the thick of it. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird, sitting on the side of the car. Well, my stomach's been feeling off for a while, and I just can't drive. So I've handled my keys over this stranger. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, maybe he's gonna murder you or do other questionable things? I stare out the window, watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like filling it. It's so stuffy in the car. I reach out for the window control button and let the window roll open. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just going to hurl us at a moving car. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. Are we in a zombie apocalypse? I don't know. The slight breeze feels good against my neck. But this guy looks like he wants to say something. So, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name, anyways? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Shelby? Sure, that's that's why I'm in trouble for three days. And they haven't... Wow, okay. Well, nice to officially meet you then, Shelby. Name's... Dustin. Okay. He looks... Dissat dissatisfied. How was he expecting me to react? It's not like I really care, but somehow it doesn't look very much like a Dustin. I continue staring out the window, and the sky is so red. Normally I think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing me. But things come out after dark. I remember that all too well. I'd rather not think about that, so I decided to break the silence after all. So what were you doing before everything happened? Huh? Oh, you look surprised. Guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this and that. That really settled into one thing in particular. What does that mean? Um... That was weird. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. Wonder what his job really was. Maybe he was a trash collector. He does look kind of dirty. Well, that's kind of rude. Well, it shouldn't be ru Yeah, I'm not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Yeah, well, it's really my dad's car was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. After dad got that third DUI, his license was revoked. Mm -hmm. He used that as an excuse to never leave the house. It was just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forgot, forget where. Ah, uh, I guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. Feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. Wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more... Oh! So they are in the apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse, then? It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually, anyways. That's tragic. Pretty quiet in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, take a hint already. Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Still. Do you think there's any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it wouldn't hurt to look, though. Oh, okay. I reached down towards the console and turned the radio dial in one direction. Oh, there's nothing but static, sometimes metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec, go back down. Hmm? What did I hear exactly? There couldn't really be something there, could there? I slowly ro rotate the knob back the other way. Wait, there it is, I think. Alright, is that mariachi? I like it. Oh. My. God. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe. Of all the music that could be playing, this is what we get? What am I thinking? Of course it is. Of course we're on the highway to hell in the dark and mariachi is the only music available to us. A combination of Spanish vocals and horns on the tracks are completely ridiculous right now. I'm actually dying. The dulcet tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell is out here running this? Of all the music that would be left, man. It gives me a minute to settle down, but then... Wait, isn't this the same song again? Uh, it's probably on an endless loop, because why wouldn't it be? 
typical. Sure seems that way. Guess it's just a ghost on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interesting in DJing. Do you think a zombie would even listen to? Is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all into baby metal these days. Ha! <laughs> baby metal! That's, uh, that's pretty funny that they uh, put that in the game. If you don't know what baby metal is, you should look it up. I don't know, I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this, but what are the, they grateful for exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? Which they will let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now anyways. Well, except for that. Just restored the console. 101.7 is now the Infinite Loop Mariachi Radio Station. So what are you into anyways? Music-wise, I really like Alanis Morissette, Top 40s, that sort of thing. Not like I had a lot of free time to explore my musical taste or anything. You? Don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? Wow. The baby metal has become such a thing that people are putting in the game. That's kind of cool, actually. No, that might be for the best. Just have to know that I unironically like baby metal. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but... Well, you probably actually judge me more for this, huh? Try me. ABBA. Yeah! Get some ABBA! Oh my god, I <laughs> can't keep that straight face. ABBA is good, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I lose it, everything is just too much. Looks kind of sullen, I'm sorry Dustin, but not, not that sorry. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music is sketchy. It is! I imagine to get the, these words out. All this laughing is making my stomach hurt more. Damn it! I mean, my parents was to ABBA, but it's fine. I listen to ABBA. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Very true. Except for that one. I'm 22. That's how old I am. Hmm. What kind of reaction is that? No, whoa, you look so young or anything like that. Wonder how old Dustin is anyway. This is kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All happy and stuff? Should be happy to have it. it sure is an optim optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. Ugh. That was, the stack is kind of killing me. That's a audio engineer graduate. That was just getting really annoying. He purposely wishes that we're up the radio. <laughs> He's got a surprisingly immature side to him, too. Do you ever expect things to end up this way? What, where'd that come from all of a sudden? Uh... I'm kinda curious about this apocalypse here. Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? Sunset... Sunset so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised you still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. Unlike, it's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. Sounds kind of morbid, but kind of fitting for the end of the world. I actually kind of like the sun setting later in the summer as well. It's silent again for a little while, but it didn't last, doesn't last. So you never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but uh, well, what do you like to do, or what did you do before everything? Like to do, huh? Turn my eyes to the window as I think on my life. Actually, I, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. Or wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. After leading such a boring life, I ended up here. Probably not even gonna go out with a bang. But that's gonna be just as dull as my life. That is super depressing. I guess that'd be most people's story. Stuff out here, though, was tough, probably tougher now. All kinds of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? I hear ya. Um, that's yeah, pretty deep, actually. Well, I mean, not too deep, but... For the apocalypse, sure. Surprised I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. I guess that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. We're all going to die anyways. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Uh, I, I did, actually. Don't judge. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you call me a bit of a nomad. Did he backpack across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Well, whatever. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you. 
To tell you the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. If you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. I can kind of relate to that. Got to the point I used to wish I could take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? <laughs> I used to wish for that too. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for dad anymore. And now I'm not, but I can't say whether that's really a good thing or not. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? <laughs> yeah, monkey's paw. Never heard of that expression. Probably too young for that. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my hands against it. It felt okay for a while, but it's acting up again. God, why did this all have to happen? Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Damn, I shouldn't be too obvious about it. Didn't want to cause any trouble. This might be causing even more trouble, though. Oh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit better, but... Anyway, I moved my hand away from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there will make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. Point proven. I was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. You think we should stop and rest? I glanced at the fuel gauge on the dashboard nervously. We barely have one-fourth of the tank left as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyways. But uh, braking would just waste the gas. Onward it is then. I'm trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road stretched out ahead of us. Yeah, that's getting really dark. It really hurts now. What's your problem, girl? I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. That's saying a lot considering what I've had to go through every month. Uh... You having women problems? I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? Why did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? From the moment I swung that baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. Just as I started to th sink into really dark thoughts, I hear Dustin's voice. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here. That's what matters. Despite all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. Ah. Good, um... Sim... Er... Synonym? No, I, I can't... I'm not smart enough to know what the actual name of that is, but anyway, you know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean that we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months, I just kept working, kept on, like, everything was fine. And then, and I couldn't ignore it anymore. And Dad, I don't even begin to explain. Listen, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but your old man, what happened? My dad? Oh! Oh, well, I guess he turned into a zom zom, so that makes sense. Smacking the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. <laughs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. They wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. It just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he wasn't really any different from usual. Does it count as a murder if you kill a zombie? I'd say no, because that's kind of self-defense then. Does it count as murder if you never get... If you never get arrested because your town's entire police force is now dead? If there is a zombie, no. But if there are any police force in your town and you just kill someone that's not a zombie, yeah, that's murder. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And so am I. It's being harsh on yourself. And in the end, I wouldn't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain now, and guilt. I stare out the window, seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? Though that hasn't changed since the way before, I guess. Oh. Hey. Aw. I feel a sudden warmth on the top of my hand, hesitant at first, but then steady. Dustin's hand envelops mine, and I feel comforted. Safe. We're still here, just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. Ah, uh, cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even you didn't get on with him. I bet it must be hard, losing someone that close to you. Wow, where do I even start? Uh, be honest. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Dustin. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Well, you're in the apocalypse, so there isn't too many people to trust, so... 
find someone you can trust in the zombie apocalypse. Better give him your full trust. Somehow. My mouth opens all on its own and the words spill out. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. And I felt awful for feeling relieved. I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it, I just felt free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling of freedom for long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all this to someone else. It really does, but that's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know that I'm only human. I'm not a monster. Not yet, anyway. Because I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're still stuck out there. I'm like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Dustin, I... Hmm. Can't go on like this. Just keep... Just keeping it to myself. Are you a zombie? Hey, Dustin. Something I need to tell you. Touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. Syrian pain reminds me that I'm no longer in... She is a Oh, crap. Gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. So she... She got bit by her dad. I should've said something before. I wanted to, but... I was scared. I'm still scared. Didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. Then he bit me in the stomach as a parting gift as he crumpled to the ground. Even in death, that still found some way to screw me over. I... Hey. Stop. It's okay. I always blame dad for mom leaving us. He was selfish. He was an asshole. He was this. He was that. But just look at me. I put Dustin's life in danger. I've lied to him since the day we met. I'm... I'm like my father's daughter, but I just keep calm, all right? I don't really know how this all works, so maybe there's a way. I'm so sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure if that has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, I looked down at my stomach. I might think I just imagined it. I wish... I wish I was dreaming right now. I, I wish this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes. Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. Retail? Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. <laughs> anyway, you should sleep if you want to. You'll probably be on this road a while. A while, huh? Well... A rest does sound nice. I always had to get up so early for work, I'm not used to being up this late. I hear you. I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. Well, you, you wake me up if anything happens? My mind flashes to the baseball bat still in my trunk. I... No, I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there at any rate. Yeah, maybe there's even a station that always plays Alanis and Abba. Yeah, I've been running ever since Mom left. Never looked back, just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Dust and I, we were both done enough. We brought in, we've both gotten farther than I've ever thought possible. I noticed that the fuel gauge light is on, but I feel strangely at peace. Close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already starts to drift. Whatever this where, 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 ugh, wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived. The proof of that will remain no matter what. So for now, let's just keep going forward. Wow. What an interesting story. Huh. That, that was a very interesting, like, that was just less of a game, more of a narrative, but... Story-wise, what an interesting way to write a story about the zombie apocalypse. Nothing about, you know, bloody murder or death or uh, just it's all about thinking about your life and more as more as a story about thinking of your mortality and morally, I guess, and thinking about your past. That was very interesting. I really enjoyed that. So I'm going to end this episode here, but I will do another episode, but this time we'll go through Dustin's side of the story. And uh, there were some options and choices to do, so I'm not sure if I'll go through those, but 
I'll at least go through Dustin. So, thank you so much for watching me play Shadows that run alongside our car. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch. Be sure to check out any of the other videos that I've done. And consider subscribing if you like this video at all and want to see more content that I create. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all the time I have. So, thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later. So, treat, treat yourself. What happened to my neck? Eh. Yeah, we go. Yum, yum, yum. Why do I have mantis like mandibles? My mission for you, Ender. Uh huh. Is to kill her.